President Obama, are you listening? It began last February with an offhand slap at President Obama's stimulus plan by a cable commentator speaking from the floor of the Chicago Board of Trade. We're thinking of having a Chicago Tea Party in July. All you capitalists that want to show up to Lake Michigan, I'm going to start organizing. But it wasn't capitalists or politicians or any one central group who organized last April's tax day protests or who fueled last September's Washington protest that drew tens of thousands, or that helped put Republican Scott Brown in a Massachusetts Senate seat. In fact, what makes the so-called Tea Party movement so significant is that it isn't driven by any one personality or issue. There's no list of members or chapters. Best guess is that several hundred thousand participated in one or more of the protests last year. There's no one office or figure who speaks for the movement. There is not a, any definite ideology to people in the Tea Parties. They really run the, uh, the gamut. Republican Congressman Pete King, who's represented a middle-class swing district on New York's Long Island for 18 years, says much of the Tea Party anger is now aimed at the president. Certainly as far as the president's concerned is that he's lost touch with the middle class, that he has an agenda he's going to pursue no matter what. And while you can hear right-wing sentiments at Tea Party gatherings, you know, if media's not doing its job, if government is just taking over every single thing that it can, and we now have an unfettered liberal, the radical left, has got control of the process. In fact, if you were at a Denver rally on health care last week, you might think you were back at a civil rights rally in the 1960s. You know, Martin Luther King is a hero to so many of us because he understood at some point, if you're looking for freedom, if you're looking for liberty, you have to take to the streets. There's no doubt that the grassroots Tea Party energy is stirring Republican hopes and dreams for big gains in Congress this November. But like any powerful force, nitroglycerin, for example, it has to be handled with great care. Katie? Jeff Greenfield. Jeff, thanks so much.